We live in a society where it's seen, it's seen as widely acceptable to steal people's creative property and use it without permission or payment. It's a scandal. And it's not just hurting record companies, it's hurting the artists who create music and a whole lot of other people involved in creative industries. But there are other parties losing out in this rapidly changing environment. As new opportunities emerge in the digital landscape, so they close up in the physical space. Now, I'm not going to stand here and predict the demise of the CD format as a mass market medium, but the long-term prognosis is not good. This year, we have seen, in Australia alone, the closure of 46 CD shops which is on top of the 91 stores that closed last year. These were real businesses with CDs on the shelves and a network of loyal customers. So where did these people go? Uh, to put this in its proper context, uh, it's still the case that 85% of albums sold in this country are sold on CD, but over the last few years, we've lost so many of the local music retailers that service towns and communities, in many cases for decades, all over the country. In many cases, including the US, it's now difficult to find a specialist CD store. The only place you're likely to find CDs will be big box retailers like Best Buy or in bookstores like Borders. Many people who are interested in CDs are ordering them online now through Amazon. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, DVDs are absolutely next. <laughs>